YouTube, it's April. Um, just popping in here today to give you the day seven update. We officially did it. We have made it a whole week. And uh, today's kind of a milestone for me. I put on lipstick. And I know that seems maybe kind of stupid or crazy or maybe like you're wondering why that's a milestone. But I have teeth that look nice. I, you know, I don't have to hide my smile. So I don't mind it calling some attention to this region of my face. Um, so that's really cool. And day seven was the first day I broke out the adhesive. Um, I didn't need the adhesive to keep the denture up. But every single time I eat, it seems like. They're slimy underneath the palette on the roof. And then I get like stuff underneath the uh, partial. And so each time I eat something, within 10 minutes, I mean, I just can't stand it. I've got to take them out, clean them, um, you know. And I know keeping them over clean is probably not a bad thing. Uh, but I'm hoping I can get to the point where I can clean them in the morning when I wake up, clean them in the middle of the day, and then clean them at bedtime. Instead of cleaning them like a bunch of times in the morning, three times a day to eat, and then at bedtime. I'm hoping I can reduce my day by at least two cleanings because it has been, that's, I don't know, it's a lot. So, excuse me, I'm still having some, some drool. Um, but day seven, we made it a week, you guys. That is like so cool. Um, but no, the adhesive helped a lot. I'm, it it kind of creates like a, I use the Fix-A-Dent, um, extra hold powder um i think i like the powder better than i'm gonna like the goo uh or the you know the paste because when you pull it out it doesn't like have a bunch of stringy gross stuff and i can't say that the other products do it's just not something i've tried yet um but it kind of creates an airtight seal so that when i drink my coffee it's not getting up under there or like i love to eat ice cream and that's been a lifesaver with the extractions when they were uncomfortable but eating ice cream was an absolute disaster because it got all up under there and you've got dairy trapped and that is like totally not my jam so i went ahead and tried the adhesive it creates a seal and nothing got under there yesterday so when i took them out at the end of the night um that that powder you guys is like no joke taking my denture out was um like actually difficult like i used hot water to just like and kind of tried to flush in there to get them out. Um, but I did not have to clean them, you know, all the whole day. I, 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 these last few days, I just felt like I spent the whole day cleaning my dentures instead of, like, enjoying them. Um, yesterday, I enjoyed them. Yesterday, I felt some semblance of normal. Yesterday, on day seven, you guys, I didn't have um, hardly any discomfort. I still don't have any new, um, you know, like, sore spots. Or anything like that um so i mean day seven went like super good um and then i just you know i'm just pretty thrilled with that so i also wanted to talk to you guys i know that sometimes there's a stigma about people who are our age or my age with dentures i'm 31 and everybody thinks oh well she must have done drugs or people think oh you're too young for dentures or whatever listen you are never too young or too old to take care of yourself my teeth were not taking care of me anymore um so i did something about it and it took me a lot longer than it should have for me to do it because i was also a victim of the stigma i probably should have done this when i was like 25 27 um but i was like i'm in my 20s i'm not i'm not getting dentures you guys if i had known how much better i was gonna feel after having these things put in i'd have done it then I'd have totally done it then, um, you know, and I don't have like a cool why I need dentures origin story. I mean, I had two pregnancies back to back and after my first one, I had four molars go and then after my second one, it was just, I mean, it just made its way from one tooth to the next to the next to the next. I probably had, you know, eight or nine thousand dollars worth of dental work and that failed in the next few years and the regular abscess tooth at first, you know, in my late twenties, I was having them, you know, two or three times a year and that was like hell and then as I got into my late 20s and my early 30s you know when I turned 30 you guys it wouldn't be weird if I had one once a month and sometimes they wouldn't be the kind that swelled up and hurt sometimes you'd get like a little pustule you know in your gum 
and you could just drain it. I mean, like, it was to the point where, like, my mouth was oozing. Like, that's disgusting. That's not... No. So, if you feel like you're too young and you shouldn't get dentures, I can't tell you how to feel. But I can tell you that once you put these things in your mouth, you're going to feel so much better. Um, I still... Cannot stop looking at myself. I cannot stop smiling. Um, my attitude is way better. And, um, you know, I feel more confident. I feel sexy. I feel like, you know, and, and truly day seven was my first day where I felt like um, I was myself. I mean, this is not normal, uh, you know, yet. I mean, I'm obviously not used to them 100%. Um, they still, you know, fatigue my face a little bit and I, uh, sometimes need to take them out for a couple hours to, uh, just like chill. Um, but this is, I, I feel better, you guys, I do. And I look nicer and they're so beautiful. Um, I've been using the stain away every day. I know some people are, like use other cleaner and then hit the stain away like once or twice a week. You guys, I am a coffee drinker and a smoker and I have this beautiful new smile and the stain away instructions say you can use it every day so that's just what I'm doing that's not what I'm using to clean them um and I don't know I like it so that's what I'm gonna keep doing for now um but I just want to tell you guys day seven was awesome um I do have some answers for some of you who have asked me about intimacy i did not have those answers before um but i'm trying to figure out how to formulate that video so it's pretty g-rated um you know without being graphic or anything because my parents watch this channel my grandparents watch this channel and you know i'm not trying to gross anybody out so for any pervy pennies or dirty donnies uh that's not the kind of intimacy video you're going to be receiving um it's going to be lighthearted and we'll talk about that later um but i'm just trying to get together some some kind of talking points and stuff um so that i can put a video out for you guys um i i don't know i like them i like them i like having them i like being able to smile i like that i can wear lipstick without feeling uh self-conscious that somebody's going to notice my teeth are gross because they're not anymore um and I just wanted to share that with you guys today. Day seven went good. Day seven, I felt like myself. Day seven was nice. Um, you know, I like did my usual, you know, the cooking, the cleaning, the housewife stuff. And went to work yesterday morning for a while. And like, it's just, it was good. So uh, today's my best friend's birthday. So I get to go shopping. Um, I'm going to go pick her up some flowers and um, you know, some flower bulbs. She just bought a house, and so she's really into the gardening. She was last summer, and uh, so I'm going to get her some flower bulbs and some nice stuff uh, that she can plant this spring. But um, anyway, you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow.